Okay, so uh, welcome back to uh, www.minitvstick.com. Um, so I'm just going to review the uh, RC11 Wireless Air mouse here. So one of the guys was asking which keyboard I was using. This actually came along with uh, this manual. I'll actually scan this in um, and put it on my website if anybody wants to read this. The company who make this are called Meazy, M-E-A-S-Y, and their website is www.meazy, M-E-A-S-Y, .com.cn. The manual itself is, it's in English, but the, it doesn't really make sense when you read it. But luckily, um, it's pretty easy to understand how, how you actually use this unit. If you, if you turn the unit over, um, you can actually, okay, okay, so once that's, once that's open, there's just three Duracell batteries I've got in here, and they just slot in there, it's pretty, pretty easy. And here, there's a space for the receiver. So I showed you that in the previous review. That lots directly into the MK02 stick. I've not actually tried this on a normal laptop. All the buttons click as well, so that was a nice touch. And every time you, you hit the keys, this light comes on. Um, it's got a D-pad there. These two buttons represent the uh, right click and left click. Apparently there's actually a gyro in here, so you don't, I don't believe you actually need line of sight. Let's have a look at it working on a TV. So I have my uh, Ricoh stick MK802 just down here in the uh, host USB port. I've got the radio receiver for the remote control. So right in the middle of the uh, the remote, there's there are, there are two buttons. So this one represents um, a left click on your mouse, and uh, this one represents a right click. So as you can see from the cursor, when I remove the remote to the left, the cursor moves to the left, and when I move to the right, moves to the right, and it stops at the edge there. And uh, it's pretty it's pretty responsive. When I right click, so using this button, then uh, it just selects uh, whatever whatever I got I've got under the cursor. So if I just choose CNN, and then if I want to scroll with this, click down, drag it up. There's a little bit of lag, but it's, uh, it's very usable, so I just clicked on the, something there. When I click on the right button, it just goes back. And there's also a shortcut key for F5, with the home button. When I press that, it goes to the settings menu. Um, so to be able to use it, what, all I do is um, I, I kind of move my cursor to wherever I want to go. So I go to business, for example, uh, and then I, I'm going to click this left button, okay, and then you know that, that instantly clicks and you can see the browser's moving to the business page. One of the cool features I found is this Android button. What it actually does is it freezes the cursor. So you can see the cursor moving around now as I, as I move this, but as soon as I hit this green button, um, I can still use the keys, the rest of the keys. However, when I the gyro is almost like switched off now, so you can see the cursor there. When I move this around now, the cursor just stays there. When you're watching a film, after a while, when you don't move the cursor, the frame moves away. And every time you nudge this thing, if you don't switch this on, those frames come back in. So it's great for watching movies. In terms of the layout of the keys, it's a QWERTY keyboard, so that, that's pretty easy to get used to. Um, and there are space bars on either side. Pad, um, which you can use for um, just going down. So if I press, I don't, don't know if you can see it on the screen, but what it's doing is it's highlighting all the different links. Quite good for just scrolling um, on a web page rather than using the cursor. On the right hand side of the keyboard there are actually two more keys, page up and then this one is for page down, page down and page down as you read the news or whatever you're reading. There is one setting that I found that seems to help, that's the pointer speed. So if you click on that, if I drag it all the way down, it's probably the best way to show you what, what I mean. So you can see that the cursor is moving very slowly now. For my purposes, where I'm just generally browsing this style of remote, I, I really want it to be quite fast. Okay. So, I mean, I've not really had anything else to compare it to so far. I'm pretty happy, happy with it. Just to summarize, you, you can move the cursor wireless. So I can sit back on my couch and uh, just kind of use this as, as the mouse without having any kind of surface to roll a mouse on. So the QWERTY keyboard is also very useful for typing. Um, so if, if you need to type your email address and some simple data, it's, it's good. Not going to be as good as a keyboard though. I've also found that when I'm typing, I've held it with both both hands. That ends here and I always hit M. I, I guess I could be getting used to that, but just to give you an idea of the sizes thing, um, here's just a, a a whiteboard marker. I'm going to be posting a few more details about this keyboard on the website www.minitvstick.com and there is this manual as well which I'll I'll try and scan later on and put on one of the postings. I also have the price I paid for this unit I and mean, it came together with the MK802. So if you've got any questions or um, if you like this video or if you don't like it let me know. Please subscribe. Thank you.